Hey guys, Draco here. Today I'm going to be playing Nightingale. And I love these kinds of games. I love RPGs and I love survival games. So this should be fun. I'm going to go through the whole process. See what kind of bugs there are, see if I can fix them. All right, first thing I gotta do. I gotta check to see if I got the right drivers. Okay, we're good. Just the brightness. Okay, new profile. Welcome to Nightingale. Begin by selecting basics and choose your body type and default appearance within the archetypes available. Appearance options cannot be changed after finalizing for now, though we plan to add support for this in the future. Okay. I should do the graphics. Well, before we start making a character. Borderless, yeah. We're gonna enable third person. Turn the FOVs up on max, because I like seeing stuff. Especially in survival games. Performance, yeah. Okay. Performance. DLSS. Performance. Turn the sharpness up. Now I can probably... Might be able to get a mod for this later to get frame generation working on 30 series. That'll be a different video. I think it looks a little better. Okay. Now we're gonna check over here. Look, it's running pretty good actually. Got a little input lag. But that's not bad considering what kind of game it is. Okay. Gotta start with. A lot of oh, there we go. I <laughs> say there's a lot of women. We gotta go to body type A. Gotta start with this guy. <laughs> So there's only two voices. It's fine. A learned scholar, well versed in physical sciences and humanities. Your time was spent among the grand libraries and lecture halls of the local university conducting lengthy research studies in your field. Statesperson, a regent born into wealth and a lineage of political power. You wanted for not days spent debating the workings of your fine city followed by nights of lavish parties and extravagant dinners. Tradesperson, a skilled and practical jack of all trades, you spent most of your days laboring, living a modest but fulfilling life. With tools in hand and food on your table, you needed nothing more. Hermit, a reclusive eccentric, choosing the lonesome wilderness over the bustling city, you worked the land, forgoing the comforts of the modern life, as well as the social decorum in favor of total self-sufficiency. Officer, a military officer accustomed both to rough living in the field and cavorting with the Regency. Having joined the armed forces at a young age, you're immediately familiar with loss, destruction, and humanity's capacity for horror. Near do well, a petty criminal with a few prospects in life, often on the wrong side of the law, you long enjoy the thrill of mischief, stealing, swindling, and eschewing propriety in favor of life's vices. 
vagrant, destitute, and relegated to the streets, or worse, the workhouse. Your lot in life has been begging, scrounging, and long stints of torturous manual labor under the cruel watch of the guardian. I will go up the vagrant. Oh my god, you can choose your parents? Okay, well, I'm not gonna go too deep into that, but. Wait, what? It should be a woman, I guess. And then. <laughs> there you go. This is wild. Okay. Okay, no, I don't have any great grandchildren or whatever. <laughs> like that. Okay. Like that. Step two, customize your appearance and skin tone. Okay. How do I do that? I guess you gotta go down. There's a lot of skin tones. Let's see, just pick something like that. No. Coming soon, coming soon. Hair color, I need to pick a hairstyle first. Female hair, can I zoom in? There we go. Todd Howard hair. It's a little better. <laughs> like a Hitler stash. Maybe something like that. Select the starting circumstances for your character. These will change and evolve with gameplay. Nightingale is an evolving online multiplayer experience. I like the sound of that. You will be able to tune and adjust the difficulty of realms you access. Your equipment and items will help you prepare for adventures. The higher your equipment score, the more prepared you are. Oh, so there's loadouts. So medium, heedful refuge, vagrant, news of the Paris transept and encroaching pale terrify you. Your work as wages will never be enough to buy safety of any kind and it soon became clear that you will have no lawful recourse. As evacuations left homes vacant, you helped yourself to warm, sturdy clothes and the nicest you felt in ages. Fling into the realm soon after felt more like a new beginning than a loss. Hard, unprepared civilian vagrant. Every measly coin the work has paid you had gone into buying a fine outfit, something that might pull you 
from that awful place and see you gainfully employed. Through immense dedication, you finally held the garment in your hand, but such all-consuming focus left you blind to the coming threat. Finally dressed for the old world, you find yourself thrust with nothing more than a fine garment into the new world. Survivalist Prepper, your ideas had, had always been dismissed as the ravings of the mad. Living between workhouses and the streets, you were paid no respect. Though you saw the end approaching clear as day, none would heed you, and you watched and waited and spent your life gathering until you possessed a formidable stash of equipment. When calls came to evacuate from the approaching pale, you, your vindication had arrived. So I guess this is like your starting loadout. Extreme. Though you fought, though you fought to escape the pauper's life, those in power have forced you down out of sight. You have no warning before the descent of the pale and no time to protect yourself from the panic fleeing crowds. Shoved and kicked, you were left with nothing but tattered rags. Collecting yourself, you took your leave of them. Perhaps the realms free from the trappings of the old world might be less cruel. Yeah, right, we got we got to get this guy. So, <clears throat> realm power. The higher the realm power, the more challenging the realm. This representing the difficulty of your starting realm, each realm you visit afterwards will be different. The higher the realm power, the more challenging the realm. This experience is catered towards players who have a little bit of experience with survival crafting genre, but still want a softer onboarding experience. I don't like the sound of that. What's this one? This represents the difficulty of your starting realm. Each realm you visit afterwards will be different. The higher the realm power, the more challenging the realm. This experience is catered towards players who regularly play survival crafting games, but have rarely played Nightingale. Alright, I like that one. So I'm going to be naked, and it's going to be extreme difficulty. This is for you guys. You better watch. Advance to finalize your character and begin your adventure. Well, we already know what it's going to be. Before time itself, the realms have existed. Born of curiosity, Sorry, guys. we opened the first gateway to our endless Feywilds. The Fey have long since aided men in harnessing that which we live and breathe. Magic. Tolerance was known until your grasp extended reach. Greed, in the face of power, saw your world courting ruin. And out flowed the pale, swallowing all in its path. Not the pale. Some fled its ever-spreading tongue, seeking refuge in Nightingale. Only to be severed from assistance as the pathway between realms collapsed. This is pretty cool, though. But ah, uh, perhaps not all is lost. For Nightingale still stands, pushing forward towards progress and enlightenment. Humanity's final beacon. Your path thither is winding. And full of terror's nascent realm walker. Wilt thou succumb to fey lands beyond thy wit? Or wilt thou endure, find the way homeward, and rebuild anew? Wow. It looks good. Crouching improves stealth, which allows you to get closer to creatures or avoid them. We're going to be doing a lot of stealth. Because I'm naked. Town extreme mode. I think, anyway. No realm cards, no factions. NPCs in exchange not available. Apex creatures not available. Potential. Okay. So this must be like a tutorial realm. <laughs> Let my words steer your steps. Ooh, it's 
bit laggy. Oh, I like the field of view though. 110 field of view looks nice, guys. Now, I gotta figure out the controls. And don't mind the thing on the left there. I'm just checking my performance too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where's the okay, key binds? Toggle auto run. We got an auto run. Thank God. Crouch, jump, sprint. Okay, you can use controller too. Q R V. Okay, that's interesting. Primary action, secondary action. She sits H. Toggle build mode is X. Offhand ability is F. Interact is E. Uh, what am I looking for here? I want to know how to change feel like third person mode it's gotta be a way to zoom in right apparently this game is really good in single player or in uh first person mode let me just look it up Apparently it's F5, guys. There we go. Okay, it's got a real Skyrim vibe so far. Okay, I'm starting with nothing, so let's just look around real quick. Ants or something. Gotta be something around here. Whither wonder you lost in our Feywilds? It feels better than Skyrim, though. It's like you can run and jump, for instance. <laughs> that alone makes it better than Skyrim. Show haste, human. It's got a real ambient to it, too. I like that. It's Puck. Shadows abound, yet like a fire's final embers, you refuse to be snuffed out. I come with an offer to guide you to a safer realm, and rebuke death, unlike so many of your kin. Take these bloodstained cards, play them, and let amiable bond be drawn between Fae and Fleshling. We get to pick our fate, boys and girls. Give me your hands, that we may be friends, and I shall restore amends. Amosit in kunul ame. Hurry yonder toward portal and apparatus, so you bare child of earth might abscond this nightmare travel to the forest byway swiftly across the divide a greater gift awaits partnerships with we fay afford many wonders yet unseen oh the game starts with a puck's monologue hell yeah that's a sign of a good game Shakespeare. Let's see. So we gotta play the forest card. Play this card to seek your realm lush with forest. The first discovered realm was a lush forest, misleading Red Cross knights into believing the pale wilds were analogous to Earth's habitats. How wrong they were. So they're basically saying this is gonna be a mild biome. 
but it's just letting you learn before you go on to the harder biome. This right here, byway. Play this card to seek a small transient realm. So it's going to be a small realm. Diminutive wilds exist that serve a pathway between larger realms, like secret, like a secret passage between two glades. From the Fey, Red Cross Knights learned they were called byways. So I guess we were Red Cross Knights. The players of the game. So, no NPCs, no Apex creatures. Potential creatures. Everheart Deer. Bowcox Fish Goat. Bloodhorn. Sign of the Guinness. Blot. The Elder Spoil. And Catapalos. Open that portal, baby. Oh my god, it's like Stargate. Fly. Fiends have caught your despairing stench. Stargate. Would you walk through it? Would you guys walk through it, huh? I think I would. <laughs> Preparing the realm. This is loading up the whole area, so it might take a minute. Returning to your death chest allows you to retrieve items dropped. See, it's taking too long, and then you're reading something that's too fast. <laughs> Count thyself among the fortunate few who manage to flee the pale's noxious proliferation. Nightingale still stands, but Earth teeters on the brink, and these wilds are far from hospitable. Sequestered so and struck by woe begs the question, wilt thou be a survivor? I love that. Wilt thou be a survivor? The gift I promised should aid thy cause. A hermetic guidebook and pocket watch, purloined off the corpse of a realm walker. Keep these like close companions. So guidebook and a pocket watch. With the man-made network sundered. Entrust me to find the trail forward through these byway realms. In the interim, I hear your stomach snarling. Take reprieve from misery and gorge yourself with a feast fit for a fleshling. Preserve yourself and I shall return anon. Okay, so get some to eat. Under this mask, you wonder. I am Puck. Robin to some. Oberon's merry wanderer. Ah, uh, the there is Oberon's servant. Furtive fay to grace your kind. Oh, he's so cool, dude. Alright, let's, uh, I gotta get something to eat. Plant fiber, sticks, plant fiber, sticks, okay. What can I make? Oh, build mode is X. Okay, so this is quarry raw berries. Let's get some berries. Wow, it looks great, guys. Look at this. Who wants to play with me? <laughs> All right. That's a buck and a baby. 
different types of deer. They're waiting for the baby, huh? And the people say this game don't have good AI. Come on. You can't tell me that wasn't cool. This is why I don't listen to just reviews of what people experience because everyone's going to experience something different. Oh, I'm dying. Oh shit, I'm going to die, guys. Where's the berries? Oh, it's a bag of berries. I full healed from that. Okay, cool. So F is E, E is pick stuff up. You can have stuff in your left hand and your right hand. Food is your left hand. You will learn schematics that you use to place and construct buildings and objects. Open your guidebook to go to the building tab. Campfire. Please. Okay, you can spin it around. It's got a nice 3D model. Need auto add resources. Structures like the campfire can be used to cook, refine, and craft items. How to cook. Workbenches and other stations in Nightingale have multiple interaction points. Interact with the fire pit area of the fire campfire to manage the fuel and flame. How to cook. After igniting the campfire, interact with the cooking pot of the campfire to begin cooking. Select the recipe and ingredients and then press craft to cook. Interesting, interesting. Roasted berries. So we need more berries. We need berries and wood. We might be screwed for berries. Release Hope Echo. Codex added the veil between us. Reflections from the World's End. November 10th, 1889. Sam Begin. Telegrams tell tales of the cities perishing one by one. After Paris, it was Brussels, then Million. A horrid fog called the Pale billows forth from the portal in Paris. We have known of the Pale, but something has shifted. Changed from what it once was, whereas before the pale was small tendrils stretching out just beyond the portal before dissipating and now spreads across the earth, blanketing everything in its path. <clears throat> Samagun is far from Paris, but if the pale continues as it is, as it has, it will ultimately reach us. Those who stay scrutinized our portal. Oh, those who stay scrutinize our portal. Others avoid it altogether. There are attacks of fleeing the city, finding safety from the portals, if such place were even to exist. Wow, look at the, look at the waves, Gus. That's pretty goddamn close. Third person mode's experimental too, so keep that in mind. Yeah. 
Okay, I need to find more berries. Shit, I just ate some. Well, I can say the PC controls are pretty good. I imagine the Xbox controls are decent too. It feels it feels fluid, like you know how some games are like right rigid and stuff, choppy almost. This game don't feel like that. They're stuck on the island with me. Do I have enough for this now? Three. Ignite. Craft. Roasted. Auto pills F. Okay. May open your inventory manager items. I plus tab. Oh, got our first crash. Send and restart. Did I lose my save file? I pressed tab and I, and I crashed, I don't know what. A network error. That could have been why. Waiting for server. I'm guessing their servers are crashing. Let's just check something. Forty-seven thousand. It's working now. You gotta be patient. Everything's still saved. I guess it's a server, so. It's always saved, right? It's always going. I'm recording a video too, so. Okay, wait now, extinguish. And now. How would I move? These are weapons and these are foods. Okay. Oh, you get a buff. 
Just like Valheim, where I like a lot of survival games. You get a buff from eating, so I got 50% extra, or 25 more points of health, which is double for my current health. You've avoided embarrassment by staving off starvation. From the lingering scent, your meal was no summer court banquet, but at least you persist. Well, thanks to you, Puck. We must carry forth whilst this byway is aligned with another. One which should get us closer to necessities we'll both require. The portal stands nearby. Delay not, for the withering sands await. Now the question is, if I press tab and I again, am I going to crash? I think tab and I just do the same thing. Character equipment rating. You weighted the weighted average of your main hand held item and clothing item. So you got a gear score. I like gear scores. You got health regen, stamina regen, melee range crit damage magic power strength blocking efficiency stamina efficiency stealth rating movement speed and then resistance to rain heat cold blight injury fire poison and miasma and then these are your cards don't have any essence yet Looks like I'm going to need some clothes soon. So this is the first realm. I started off on this little peninsula. That's the portal out of here. Everything's sectioned off by... Ah, uh, I forget what these are called on a map. <clears throat> grid. It's a like gridded off. I like that. It's like, say you're playing with friends, you can go like, hey, I'm over at D3, come over here, and then you find each other in D3. Or, like, if nobody was there, you could say, you gotta go over to D4 to get deer. Or, like, I can say, there's deer at, you know, C6 Peninsula. Okay, before I move on. Let's get some more berries. I'm gonna need like... Actually... That should be enough. Locate the realm's portal and venture into the desert by pet... By way realm. Is that over here? I'll cook the berries later. I wanna show you guys as much as I can. Oh, so I got a desert card now. And I got a byway card. So. Play this card to seek a realm of the arid desert. Bygone G Geo Arcanus. Frequented deserts. Relish sunlight. Playing across the sand to give the illusion of unending horizon. Long ago, forsaken by the Fae, yet vestiges still remain. So the enemies here are going to be Seer Eoten, Timurnat the Young, and Katian. Okay. Oh, I messed up. Alright, let's open portal. Stargate number two, baby. Fae Gate, I'm gonna call it the Fae Gate. Or Fae Realm. Continue journey. Level 40 zone. Oh, I'm hot. 
Summer runs through my being as blood runs through yours. Dying I've puck. seen that Hurry two up. men called sweat flow like rivers in our deserts. This heat devours spirit and life alike. Oh, the shadows are moving. That's cool. How be it? Enduring the elements is part of the realm walker's folly. Pleasure sought through vanquishing hostility. Whether this pleases or not, without shelter and the means to defend it, you'll not last long. Best to test your nesting prowess and avoid exhaustion while I scour for the next byway. All right. <clears throat> Making a shelter. So, sticks. We need some sticks. I'm gonna stay in. I'm guessing the shadows protect you from the sun. We're trying not to run out of water here either. To at least get this tent up. Okay, auto add resources. Move back so it can craft. Guidebook building. Bedroll. We need more sticks. I'm hot. Can't stay in the sun too long. Bit of lag. Oh my god, it's a living tree. Let's not piss him off. Oh, he's pissed. No, no, he's going the other way. He's like a stick bug. You can't tell which part's his head and which part's his ass. Okay, we got a bed roll. Auto add. Relationship of rest and stamina. If your rest drops too low, you will begin to lose max stamina and will succumb to it. And will succumb if it reaches zero, so you'll die, I guess. Rest buffs increase as the comfort level of your bed increases. Amenities such as light, heat, and furniture increase comfort level. Higher comfort levels adds to varying levels of bonuses to your health and stamina rate. Resting requires a minimum comfort level. Building the bedroll under shelter meets the necessary requirements. Okay. Before I rest, let's check this guy out. Sounds like a bad idea. Bucket. For science. I guess he's a good tree. Oh shit, I'm gonna overheat. Alright, let's, let's get some rest. Most recipes require stations such as a campfire or workbench in order to craft. However, you can craft makeshift items directly from the guidebook. Ah, uh, crafting. So we got a wood axe, a torch, a sickle, a mining pick, and a hunting knife. So I would go with the axe first. And then I would get a pickaxe. And now we need rocks. But. Uh, Alright, let's get some more wood, I guess. Oh, look at a tree.
own hat. It's actually taking chunks of it. Okay, you gotta watch your stand when you're doing this. Okay, I'm really hot. Let's take a break for a second. Need some clothes, man. Can't be out in the desert heat naked. Dude, this looks like the beard burst. Not bad. Okay, that's kind of cool. This is what a tree would look like in real life, too, if you cut it down. It's dumb. Let's go back to first person. Okay. I need wood. I mean, stone. I don't know where I'm going to need stone, too. <laughs> that much end was on fire. Okay, so you can chop branches off the ground. Okay, rocks are right here, guys. Definitely need a pickaxe right away. So we're going to go into God Poke Crafting. Mining pick. And we're gonna get a sickle. And then I need some more sticks. So this is a pickaxe. That's it on the same rock. Of course. I guess my rested bonus is above my health bar, that little coffee cup. So if I can't get stone from these things, then what the hell is the point of the pickaxe? stuff I need to craft one of everything I'm gonna check that thing out from what I heard a couple hours into this game it gets a lot more intense and I was watching a couple of people play, and uh, it looks like it gets pretty intense. Automaton chest. We got some sticks in here. Good tree. Guidebook craft. What does I need? Hunting knife. I can actually see it without getting out. Hunting knife torch. Craft. Craft. Wait, what did that say? Harvest resources. Basic resources can be found and harvested in the realms. These resources can be used to craft items or can be refined into better resources using refinement stations. By using tools, you can harvest better resources with special qualities from the realm. Craft higher level tools to harvest from better level resource nodes. Each tool also has certain damage type. Creatures have varying weaknesses and resistances to damage types. Wow. 
Oh, hello, Puck. It slipped my skull that Earth's great citadels resulted from decades of toil. Still, I expected more than that lowly truss of sticks and the haphazard cudgel you now hold. You'll need better woodworking skills than that when we reach our destination proper. It affords the perfect setting for... Well, we shan't ruin the surprise. Let us That's ominous. And speak of your ill-favored constructs no more. One final byway of muck and mire, then this path of beginning shall fork unbounded into whatever endings you seek. So I'll be free. Is that what he said to me? Oh, so I can change this. Locate the realm's portal and venture into the swamp byway realm. I have to go this way. Before I starve to death. Oh, it's an automaton. Wow, that's a cool creature. <laughs> I can't attack him. Not yet. I need some gear first. Look at them all. I would have been destroyed if I attacked him. It looks like they have a chest though that they collect things and bring it to. Oh. That's convenient. Let's follow this guy around. Whoa. Stay in the shadows. Don't forget about the heat. We gotta check this thing out, right? Release Echo of Hope. The Veil Between Us. November 25th, 1889. Sam begin. Boats depart daily now. Bells filling the harbor. Evacuations are underway. With some seeking refuge in other cities. Distant nightingale draws others. With rumors of mechanisms that repel the pale. The journey is long and arduous. Though all the while, Sita keeps me on the shore watching as the ships sail into the unknown i long to see her smile again the lopsided grin when she brings me to a new discovery the way her hand cradles each relic her excited retellings she is always so alive so vibrant upon her return i would give anything to have her by my side again Hmm. Chest. Hail infusion injury resists. Attribute multiplier injury resistance 10%. When applied to equipment, this infusion provides increased injury resistance. When touched, all aches and pains seem to fade away as if they were only existed in a dream. It resists the physical, making the toughest blow seem like the lightest breeze. And you can extract it into 10 is essence dust. Rod, gem, diamond. Oh, there's gems. You can sock it in. Attribute multipliers. Maximum health, 20%. Melee damage, 25%. Stamina efficiency, 20%. While uncut and unrefined in its raw shape, this gemstone can still be used for magical means and serve realm walkers. Well, if they need a quick magical boost, extracts into three essence dust. Slight healing potion. So it gives you 100 health. 
It's heavy liquid leaves running trails on its glass bottle like a fine wine. It warms the throat and mends the body, beginning with deep bruises and stitching close the skin. Slight restful potion. Stamina, 50. So we got stamina potion. The first taste of this elixir is unconscionable, unconscionably sour, sending an immediate ache through the dry. As it subsides, however, it leaves boundless endurance in its wake. Cool. Now let's let's put the. How do I? Oh, I gotta take it first. Let's put this down here. Yeah, like that. Down zero. Down nine. Oh, so you can put health potion on Q. Perfect. Okay, that's my first chest. Still need some gear though. The fuck is that noise? Oh, you can climb up stuff. Yeah, we found the noise. They gonna fight? I don't know, but I'm going to starve to death if I don't hurry up. For science, yeah. Okay, what are we we're gonna make over there? Okay. There's a chest in there. I don't know if all damage is like in this game, guys. We'll check that chest soon after. So we got a raw amethyst. Stamina efficiency 25, stealth rating 20, miasma resistance 25%. There's gonna be all kinds of builds in this game, guys. It's gonna be awesome. While uncut and unrefined in its raw shape, this gemstone can still be used for magical means and serve realm walkers. Well, if they need a quick magical boost. Settler card, okay. Play this card to increase the yield of refined building materials and crops and improve the fortitude of your structures while reducing the rate at which you recover stamina. Many realms have been favored for their innate suitability for human settlement. Many more have been changed to suit their settlers' needs with this card's aid. Wow. That's going to come in handy. And we have some more potions. Guys, can I make it up that? No. Falling impact. We might be fucked. That might be as far as I can go. Alright guys, we're gonna go... down very carefully <laughs> I like the parkour slave okay sprinter's potion Movement speed 5%, effective 120 seconds. One of the Hermetic's proudest inventions. This shimmering liquid flows like no other. It has the sharp smell of ozone, enough to send anxious buzzing through the lower limbs. Alright, we gotta get to this portal ASAP. 
Let's get out of here. If not, I'm gonna starve to death. I see it. Valheim got me paranoid leeches. Well, I'm wet now. Well, curd. By the way, curd. Play the card to seek a realm of swamp and more. Boots sinking into muck, an image known by all realm markers who have tread the swamps. This card seems to stare at its keeper like a creature lurking in the mire. Veil between us. December 18th, so like a month later. Finally, our time has come. The pale surrounds the city. An oppressive wall swallowing the buildings, advancing ever closer. The evacuations have ceased. There is no longer a shore from which to escape. No one knows what happens when the pale overtakes you. As I stand here, the air is filled with screams as the pale slips among the streets and then silence. I want to go to them, to help them. There is nothing I can do, nothing anyone can do. It is becoming too dangerous to remain. A few others have dared to pass through the portal. Despite what may lie beyond, they take their chances. But I wait here, unwilling to leave until the last second. If she returns here, she will know where to find me. Sita, Sayang, wherever you are, please be safe. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? A 360. <laughs> no, it didn't work. Couldn't spin in the air. My 360 turned into like a a five star frog splash. Creatures, potential creatures. Fen rat, left warden, bound fiend, bound vermin, bound lamplighter, bound bombardier. Hmm. That place looks pretty cool. What do you got to say, Puck? If not for Astaroth's decree, this trek would have been as easy as peach pie. We Fae are forbidden from consorting with your kind. And while my amity is yours, it behooves us both to move with caution. But enough prattle. Prattle, you say? The bound guard fey archways that align with temporal realms. As they're already acquainted with your despair, those fiends will emerge when you try to leave this final byway. While I know man's impulse is to flee, without pluck, you're sure to expire. Prepare, Prepare yourself, yourself Realm Walker. Once this fen is within our wake, a fine morsel of knowledge I shall bequeath. Ahead lie relics of humanity's future. Acquire bones, tier one predator. Acquire hide, tier one predator. We gotta kill stuff, Gus. Hunting knife? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm injured. Save me Jesus. The rat man got me. Oh, 
Memento Mori. What that is? Everything except my gear. Okay, my body's laying right there. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. Oh, if you right click in midair, check this out. Jump. You can dash. You just uh, right click while you're in midair. My question is how do you dodge? Okay, right click is dodge. Okay. That's gonna be good. Yeah, we gotta have a rematch. Where's Fido Ratman? Watch your stam. Then you can hop back. This is sketch. Posturing, are you? Oh, he got me. Yeah, you really gotta watch your stamina. You can't jump backwards if you don't have stamina. Before I go any further, let's just check something. Okay, so this thing has critical damage. Melee crit damage. I think you're gonna have to go with something stronger. It's got a, so this is for sneaking up on things. Yeah, let's go with slashing. Seems better, you can block, right? Because you don't need stamina to block. Ah, you cut it with the knife. Bone somewhere. There we go. But they're prey bones. I need predator bones. All right, rat man. Round three. We're gonna start with a stab, and then we're gonna move to the axe. Oh, what's F? Okay. Okay, being crouched did not give me an advantage. I could have stabbed him and then hopped back, right? It's probably what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to stab him and hop back. But this is hard mode, you know? It's kind of hard to do to rat man. All right, we're gonna try this again. I might have to make clothes. <laughs> I can do this with an ax, I know. All right. I think it's savage, dude. Okay, that's way better. The bite is what you gotta worry about. Attack when he screams. Lock. Oh. 
Fuck. Oh god. No stamp. Die, rat man. Now I've become the rat man. <laughs> Jesus Christ, and I fight two of them at the same time. Yeah, let's get out of here. I only got one hide from that. Boys, they're really putting me to work here. Let me see something. <clears throat> I know why I can get one shot at it. I don't have a buff. So we're gonna need some sticks. Seriously? <laughs> oh, little tree killed me. If that tree fell on me in real life, it wouldn't kill me. I think I got some debuffs because I died or something. All right, this this really is extreme. Well, we have one crash though. Nah, I didn't lose any data. So I fuck with the rat man right now. I'm way down, but I don't have enough sticks. Plant fiber. Sticks. Damn. Ugh. Got me. He attacked three times that time. Like, what are you supposed to do there? Run away? I need some range. Alright, we're gonna get my stuff back. And we're gonna make a base because. The serious sketch. I was hoping I could kill stuff without uh, making a base, but oh shit. I need a food buff just to kill anything. You cock. Oh, Jesus Christ. Save me. God, there's more of them. We have to get to the hills. To the hills. I'm just luring more of them. Keep 
backing away. I was hoping that they'd uh, either leave me. Oh no, they're not leaving me alone. I don't think. Does give me some time though. Crude rocks. Ah, oh, you can extract it in the dust, okay. It's cool you don't waste any. Okay, I kind of feel safe here. For now. Can I build up? Yes. That's where I screwed up before I added all my stuff. I never took it. Mixed plants. <laughs> Auto pill. Craft. ER. Oh. It's a Q and E. You can choose how many you want. F autofill. And then I want these many craft. This is gonna take a little bit. Hopefully I get like a bigger HP pool. When I eat something and then I'll be able to kill these things a lot easier. Oh shit, I'm starving it up. There we go. See my health going back up. Now what does this do? Maximum health 25, maximum stamina 30, health regen 21, stamina 1, hunger mitigation 20, effect 720 seconds. I'm going to do some roasted rat meat in a second too. I guess it's taking so long since it's crafting 5. I want to get out of this swamp soon. We should make our way to that oil rig. Probably gonna have to get kill rats to get to it anyway. So we'll see. I gotta get some food first though, because I won't be able to do anything in this game without food, probably. Not on extreme mode. Auto fill 2. So this is some 36 extra health. Not bad. Pretty cool game so far. I think the combat could be really fun. I mean, it is fun so far. I just gave him one shot, it sucks. So hopefully, this food buff helps. I also don't have any gear on because I picked artists. 
That's okay, I like a challenge. You know what I'm missing? I almost drop in that fire. Add fuel. Take it. X. Remove. So you go XV. Oh shit. Why is the ring so heavy? Um, I'm gonna... Can I break this up? I'll figure out the rest later. That was the build mode. Okay, more stam definitely helps a lot. <laughs> oh, the crits feel good. Get some hide, nice. This is that road there takes me down, remember? Got one of them. That's how you take on a... When you're getting ambushed, run away, and then kill them one by one as the fastest one catches up to you first. Oh shit. Actually, I can extract these, can't I? Never a bad idea to pick stuff up, I guess. I had to get out of the swamp, man. Okay. The portal's over there. Let's not fuck with that thing. Actually, I need to kill. He got me. Drink a potion. So I can take two hits from him now. Which is much better. Check your surroundings. Gotta chop this shit up fast. <laughs> Little rat swimming, huh? Hell yeah, brother, you can make it. Got this poison uh, disease, bastard rat. <laughs> it was worth it. We got the footage, boys. Oh no! No, he's killing our little rat friend. No, you monster. I will defeat you.
We're all retconned. Items breaking. All right, we're trying to pick X out. <laughs> Smack. I'll get you out of there, rat friend. <laughs> nah, he dead as fuck. getting the hang of this now. You don't want none of this. Whoa, 63. It looks like the bat back crit damage did a lot. But I could be mistaken. Watch your stem. You know, this AI doesn't feel too, too, like, easy, right? Like, I think either people are playing on too, too easy a difficulty, maybe the AI is affected, or just their moves are predictable. I'm sure they'll make it even harder somehow. I mean, it's pretty hard already. I'm not gonna lie. At least on this difficulty. Okay, so I'm off course now. Make. Craft a makeshift capelet. Ah. Capelet. Acquire our healing cell. Acquire roasted meat. So I got roasted meat. Look at the rats swimming through the water. It's actually really cool. <laughs> Oh, you want some of this? Just me and you now, let's go. There ain't no rat. Get out of here. I wonder what fills up my hunger meter the most. A healing cell. We need bones and fiber. And a cooking pot. Okay. What the hell is this? Ingots. Nice. It's uh, I got a feeling there's enemies in here. Let's see what's up here. Oh my god. Shingles, rifle cartridge, and a tavern card. Play this card to prolong the effects of a meal and rest. Grow tired more slowly and recover your stamina more quickly. If 
Few things have driven Real McSettlers to despair more surely than poor meals and a bed of hard ground. With this card, none need worry as hospitality is never out of reach. Cool. Safest place. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Fucking rain. Alright. We got a different idea. How the f am I supposed to get down to this? Poorly. It worked, though. Okay, this is my new home. What do we need to make this? Make it. And then whatever we need for this. Make that too. Healing self. Use essence dust to restore any tools. So, right click repair. Wow, that is cool. I like that system. Hey, Buck. You've stolen life to preserve your own. A necessity, lest it become a vice. One imbibed by men like dandelion wine. Now, I've led you about around. Through bog, through bush, through brake, through briar. And forthwith, a temporal realm of abeyance awaits. And so too, Nightingale. This game is safe, guys. First, you must oblige your inner essence and choose the landscape that beckons. Aha. No need for words. Oh, I get to choose? Only thought. Hmm. Well, we just had a lot of rat man. This is not going to be a swamp. The desert's hot as shit. So I think we're going to go with the forest. The mystery of the whole. Because we never explored it really. Play your cards, but beware. The bound will storm once the archway rouses. Oh shit, there's a rat man Crack in the background. There. Pitiable little skulls. Show no mercy. The bound will storm once the archway rises. So my base will get attacked. Open the portal and defend yourself. Jesus. Ah, jeez. Yeah, we can't be weighed down. No we're getting weighed down around here. Have I leveled yet? Do you level up in this game? I guess your gear score is your level, so I'm like level 4 right now. Okay. So I guess like the way this works is your gear score is your level. That's going to determine how well you can handle an enemy. And then besides that, you know, your weapons and stuff. And you're going to unlock recipes. 
But what else? You get cards, challenges. Oh, there's challenges. And then there's. That's what my. These are quests. This is everything you can craft, makeshift. It's for survival. Codex. Obran. I don't have that one yet. How to play. I might do like a couple of videos on some of these things. Aid fellow survivors. Oh, so you can trade essence to people for things. Okay, that's good to know. Where's the portal? I get to out of here. Characters running out of rest. That's the blue bar, I guess. talking to myself a lot of people like mini maps and games and while I agree they're more convenient like this is how you explore in real life with the compass up top so like I know that I need to go west so I'll keep walking west but I can always turn and go a different direction and then just face west again and know that I'm still going towards my destination New realm time. Got the forest. Abadence. Play this card to seek a realm of minimal danger suitable for the construction of an estate. Here we go. Not even Nightingale's oldest mag magicians, magicians have been able to trace the origins of this card. The image imprinted upon the paper brings intense loneliness to mind. Oh, so if you get this far, just remember that. Oh, I can turn the realm difficulty down. Just remember that uh, this card is probably where your base is going to be, your estate. We'll see, though. Check it out. I think you get to keep your estate while the realm's alive. for a while, right? Remain vigilant while the realm's alive. Does that mean something's gonna attack? Oh shit. I can't swing. Am I in build mode? We're having problems. Can't swing my weapon. What happened? Technical difficulties, I guess. Might have been a sleep bug. This is day one, guys, so. God only really knows what happened. I'll be quick. It's funny that the rats got like bird gall.
I can't wait to get a little base going. What the? Oh, I guess the true test begins, boys. Shot at me. Maybe my health was low. Can I have two food buffs? Oh. That's a tip that I'm going to have to tell people before they start playing. Oh, I didn't have my body back. Jeez. I should wait for my health to go up. It would help if I had gear too. I got... I guess I got this little makeshift capelet. We gotta hurry because I want to make this video two hours. I heard the little bastard for a time. Alright, I'm full health, full food. Two bugs so far. One crash and one wreck and swing my weapon, I think. Can't read that right now. Goodbye, cool world. It's funny how I got like <laughs> leggings on. <laughs> Your path forward is winding and full of terror. Nightingale. Save yourself. Survive the realms. And rebuild all that has been lost. <laughs> Nearby survivors will aid in building structures and gathering resources. Visit the Abbeyance Realm. Abbeyance, yeah, that's what it is. 8.30 a.m. Faction present, the company. 
Carnute, Ferris Wine, Trace the King, Waywolf, Biz Claverit the Corrupted, Everhart Deer, Bow Cox, Fish Goat, Bloodhorn, Scion of the Gaunus, Blot the Elder Spoil, Cat Pillows, Bound Fiend, Bound Vermin, Bound Lamplighter, Bound Bombardier. We got saved, ah, We made it. With the byways left behind, your beginnings have ended. I bid you over. welcome to the Feywilds in earnest. Oh, yeah. This realm has long been forgotten by the Fey, left in limbo, not unlike you. How fitting. And thus, thus. here is yours to put down roots. Very nice. But beware. In short time, darkness will descend, and with it, Stygian perils. Laying foundations will keep you intrepid, child of Earth. While you play Carpenter, there are nooks in these surrounding wilds I must scrub for the knowledge I pledged. Well. Okay. I'm going to head stop here. And then I'm going to start another video later. Where I'm going to be doing a base build. And doing up this place because it seems like I'm gonna have to spend a couple hours here making a base and defending it against whatever comes. So it looks like this game's gonna be really fun. I'd like for you guys to come back and watch the next one. And thanks for watching this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to support me, there's a donate link to my PayPal. You can buy me a coffee down in the description. So thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time.